Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi, my name is Ahmad Ifan bin Ahmad Nazir Matrix number 280005 Assalamualaikum, uh, my name is Muhammad Umar Biswami uh, My matrix number is 28064 uh. Hi, my name is Hidayat Faisal Fadila and my matrix number is 260512 Hi, my name is Kirti Ganesan and my matrix number is 281822 Hi, my name is Mia Wei and my metric number is 281728. Assalamualaikum and hi doctor. My name is Ali Akila Binti Zohazmi, metric number 280320. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nurhasa Shamimi Binti Zaki Hussein, my metric number 278818. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Aina Atira Binti Nur Azman, my metric number 281837. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Shafira binti Azizan and my metric number is 280081. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Shamilia Zaida binti Zagifli and my matrix number is 280492. Assalamualaikum and hi doctor, today I will explain about the definition of management. What is management? Management can be defined as the process of planning, organizing, leading and controlling the organization resources to achieve the organization common goals effectively and efficiently. It is an act of creating and maintaining such a business environment wherein the members of the organization can work together and achieve business objective. Management identifies a community of people working in the company as a guide and coordinates their efforts to achieve the common objective. Managing life means getting things done to achieve life's objective and managing an organization means getting things done with and through other people to achieve its objective. Management is also the key to how successful the company will remain in our future generation to make our company successful in other countries. Business management is all about how organizational processes of people's action together to achieve their goals and objectives by using resources efficiently and effectively. Organization can be defined as a collection of people who are engaged in the pursuit of goal through proper planning. It is a system that is made up of all human relationship. The second most important management function is the organization which organizes the labor of division among the employees and also coordination of tasks in accomplishing the corporate goal. There are two types of organizational structures which are formal organizational structure and informal organization structure. In the formal organization structure, the roles of each member are clearly defined. The responsibilities and accountabilities are established. Therefore, all the members in the organization are directly connected to the hierarchy. While on the other hand, in the informal organization, the organizational structures relies more on the personal attitude of the employee. Organizational structure is the backbone of a company that relies on the relationship of activity authority in the company with which to achieve the business goal of the company. Now, I would like to explain about the organization in NASCAR. NASCAR has its own external and internal environment to work with the specific needs of the company. The internal environment of the company comprises the element that includes employee, management, and most importantly, our corporate culture, which determines the behavior of the employee. On the other hand, the external environment is the external factors that affects the how a business is run. There are two types of external factors which affect the company, which are micro environment and also macro environment. The micro environment is the factor that affects the company directly whereas the macro environment affects the company indirectly and has some common factors. The company's success and sustainability are depend on the ability to adapt to all these environments. Moving further, now I would like to explain about the mission of our company. First and foremost, mission is defined as the essential purpose of an organization especially to the reason of an organization's existence, the nature of business within it, and the customer it wishes to serve and satisfy. 
NASCAR's mission statement is to continuously create innovative process, product and services to win the heart and mind of many people. NASCAR has specified their mission in terms for customers, shareholders, employees, corporate and nation. NASCAR's mission in terms for customer is that NASCAR strives to ensure that customer satisfaction by providing quality cars and better services compared to other competitors. NASCAR also engages to build an amiable organization focuses on the customer's needs in order to build a great bonding between the company and also customers. Besides that, in terms for shareholders, NASCAR convinced the shareholders that they can trust and rely on our company uh, in order to lead the company to success. Besides that, the resource management in the company can also generate a large income. As for the employee, NASCAR focuses on providing a propitious working environment while focusing on the well-being, learning and development of employee and also long-term employment. Besides that, as for the corporate, NASCAR strives to evolve and maintain a win-win solution and provide a high added value. Besides that, NASCAR also wants to lead uh, intellectual capability in designing and also technology which are both very important in automotive uh, company. Last but not least, as for the nation, our company's mission is to be the responsible corporate company and can move forward realizing the vision 2025. So, uh, for me, I will discuss about the vision of our company, which is NASCAR company. Uh, first, let me define what is the meaning of vision. Vision can be described as the mental perception of the environment, which an individual or any organization seeks to make this assumption in a wide and long-term environment. The vision of NASCAR is to be successful and most preferred a Malaysian automotive manufacturer and customer satisfaction oriented in terms of producing product at competitively priced and innovative quality products. To achieve the vision, our company want to launch NASCAR Research and Development Center which help the company in creating innovative design and creative engineering so that the customer can expect more stylish and attractive product from us. Our customer is our priority because they are our representative brands. Strong customer influence determine everything we do for our customer and is defined by three main elements, which are positioning, personality, and identity. All these elements are our branding strategy, which based on convincing and central idea about our brand, which determine all other forms of expression. Okay, next is objective. What is the meaning of objective? Objective is literally explain the quantity and the quality of works, the deadline, the process and the achievement of the goals. The main objective of NASCAR company are to guarantee that economic benefit reach all the sections of the society and achieve stable economic growth for the company. Besides that, there are also another objective that we want to achieve. The first one, we want to advance Malaysia into 21st century as an industrialized country where the acquisition of technical knowledge, human knowledge and experience help to achieve short-term and long-term goals. The second one, we want to look for the new chance to increase business value through investment from the local and the foreign investor. And the third one, we want to lead the manufacturing and automotive industrial process in the country. Last but not least, we want to enhance knowledge and mastery of the technology in the field of automotive and manufacturing industry. Now, I would like to continue the presentation with 5.1 planning. Before we go further, we need to know first what is definition of planning and why an organization need a planning. So planning is the process of defining goals, establishing strategies and developing action plans to coordinate activities, activities towards accomplishing organization goals. By planning, the organization is in position to achieve their objectives or goals due, due to increased efficiency of organization.
Next, we will go to NASCAR's planning. We started to plan on the objective of the organization to provide the directions of company goals to make strate the strategies of NASCAR company achievable. We also put mission and vision for our staff reference in order to achieve our goals. NASCAR mission is about how NASCAR is very committed to lead our country in intellectual ability in the design and technology that will help Malaysia to become an industrialized country. To make the NASCAR's company successful, we must include our vision that one of the NASCAR goal, goals is to become a successful Malaysian automotive manufacturer globally. In order to make NASCAR's company one of the companies that can lead the successful business in the future, we have our strategies. The strategy is to conclude our plan in order to get the future business that can be the one who sells the car in another country, not only in Malaysia. So that we have our plan strategies. Such example. We have divided our strategies to three parts, which is short, medium and long term. For the short term, Nesca wanted to attract customers by making a good design that preferred local taste with many good and attractive features. We also want to make partnership with another brand car by sending co-workers to the overseas in order to learn about another brand car. We plan to increase performance standard which is in the, that which is that in a month we need to at least sell 1000 units of car and in 6 months we need to get profits with many of our customers. Next, in medium term, in order to make our brand high in quality of use, Nescar's company want to introduce new car models that are affordable for customers and make some collaboration with high-end cars to improve the quality of all the models. Lastly, for long term, from years from now, Nescar sources of component and material will be locally that will have good in terms of quality and reliability. So in this case, the NASCAR component will be easily found for the future use. In 10 to 15 years, NASCAR will make it to top 5 car makers in Southeast Asia. NASCAR will focus on optimizing investment in terms of quality and cost competitiveness. That's all for me. Thank you. I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Now let the next presenter present his point. SWOT is SWOT. Uh, SWOT is an acronym for strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. It, it is a strategic planning technique that is usually used to evaluate a company's strength and weakness, opportunity, and threats that help a company to overcome challenges and pursue new lead. Uh, strengthness. Um, First point is produce eco car. Produce eco car, which is a good to environment, eco friendly culture as electric vehicles are proven to produce a much lower level of harmful as house emission when driving at all speed in all types of weather conditions. Since electric cars depend on electricity to run, they, they produce for this harmful carbon monoxide that than traditional vehicle. Next is Anaska produce affordable car. Mm, our company and uh, many customers by selling affordable car to our customer that can help us gain trust from our customer. Mm, next for, for analysis is uh, witnesses. Uh, uh, first we need to compete with other top local car maker. We need to compete with local car maker like Porto and Porto that have a great community in our country. In addition, we also need to compete with other international brands in Malaysia. Next is short story in automotive industry. Our company are new competitor in this automotive industry and we don't have a, uh, yet any good story in the industry so we need to work hard so that uh, we can gain a customer trust for our brands. Uh, next, uh, so analysis is opportunities. Uh, first point in consumer attract to a new type of car. Our eco car as our main product will help us attract a customer that prefer a friendly eco car and customer will attract to a new futuristic design. Next we provide new planning strategy in a creative way. We also have a strategy planning that will help us attract customer in creative way, including a short, medium and long term planning. 
The last SWOT analysis is a threat. Uh, first point is continuous innovation by competitor. Um, we need to be more creative in innovating so that we do not left behind by our competitor, not only local but also international brand car. Next is uh, consumer prefer well known comic brand. Um, brand car like Toyota or Honda are more preferred by our local, so our company need to change our local mindset by selling our good quality product to customer. That's all for me. The net function of management is organizing. Organizing or setting up is the existing order of powerful relationship of authority between painting, individual, and workplace. Agree on so that the company will be correctly pinned together or the process of separating work into the part and division. Uh, in addition, planning of contractor, the running partnership such that the organizational individual participants and collaborate to accomplish the organizational objective. There are an organizing process. The first process is objective determination. Objectives in NASCA are based on smart characteristics. They are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and have a timeline. This objective will be a guide for manager to determine and coordinate the organizational activity that need to be done to achieve that objective. The second process is activity identification. The manager then identify the appropriate activity to be carried out specifically and in detail to achieve the objective. For example, to increase knowledge and attract public interest in product produced by NASCAR, our company needs to hold a promotion. Classification of activity. After the activity involved are identified, the classification of activity will be made and then will be grouped according to specific part. For example, our company will redo promotion by advertising in mass media. This is grouping activity. After determining the type of activity that needs to be done, the activity should be grouped according to the same function and nature. Next, an uh, appropriate organizational structure will be established to manage the group of activity. For example, pricing and promotion activity will be placed under the task of the marketing department and a quality improvement and product diversity are placed under the production department. The last process is distribution of duties, authority and responsibilities. Human resources manager will distribute tasks to employer according to their ability and skill. The, this authority exists as a result of a position in the organization, the higher and individual position is on the organization side, the greater the authority he or she has. However, a person authority is subject to his or her field only. So, he or she is not entitled to give instruction in the relevant field. So now, I would like to present about the organization chart of NASCA company, the responsibility from the three level managers, and also the departmentalization which is used by the NASCA company. So in NASCAR company, there is an organization chart that shows the function, department, and authority relationships according to individual position in this company. So for the top level manager, there will be chairman Ahmad Infan with his two directors, Muhammad Umar and Noor Shafira, and with the chief executive officer, Noor Shamila Zaida, with the two deputy chief executive officer, which is Noor Ina Atira and Kriti. Well, for the middle level manager, there will be the manager of production, manager of finance, manager of human resource, and also the manager of marketing. Where the manager of production, which is Alia Akila, the manager of finance, which is held by the No Haja Shamimi, and Liawe as the manager of human resource, and lastly, the manager of marketing, which is held by Hidayat Faisal. Well, the low-level manager will be the group leader for each project team for the NASCAR company. So now I would like to present about the responsibility for the top-level manager. Top-level manager or top manager are also known as senior management of executive of chairman. 
top-level administrators make decisions to be able to control the whole organization. They set the company's priorities and steer the organization to acquire them. In the end, top managers are responsible and I mean are responsible for the company's overall success and sometimes these managers have roles that are very noticeable. The top level manager can skip down the company's authority to the middle level manager such as marketing manager, manufacturing manager, HR manager and others until the goals and procedures have been progressed to implement the technique established at the top. In this case, it is the authority of the middle level manager to make the excellent option for giving them to under the undertaking. Example, in NASCAR company, Ahmad Infan, as the chairman of the company and also as known as a top level manager, will pass on the tactics built on the top, built from the top to his middle level manager. But now, I would like to present about the middle level manager's responsibilities. Middle level manager or middle manager are the managers who are inside the ranges and the top managers. These and its administrators are responsible for exercising the targets set by the highest control. They are also responsible for positioning the preference for the agency and various business units by way of means. In order to accomplish company's goals, middle managers promote and support first-line managers. Additionally, middle managers should speak by supplying top managers with instruction and feedback. Therefore, the middle-level administrators will make a selection in line with their division after acquiring the venture from the top-level manager, including the development method. The, de the development department will discover the way to manufacture the product. The publicity department on a way to sell the product in an open market. And the workplace branch on how the regulation work among others. An example, in NASCAR company, Hidayat Faisal as the manager of marketing will introduce the company product via the media. Example, television, billboard, commercial ads and others to produce their newly product of NASCA company to the Malaysian consumers. And now I would like to present about the responsibility on low-level managers. So low-level managers are also known as first-line supervisors, are responsible for the day-to-day -day supervision of line employees, staff who manufacture the product or offer the service completely. Inside the company, they are first-line supervi supervisor in each painting team. Well, first stage managers typically do not set targets for the organizations. They have a fully robust influence on the company through the media like TV, billboard, Facebook, and etc. for their latest product, which is well, on, well known in Malaysia. So now I would like to present about the departmentalization which is used by the NASCA company. So, what is the meaning of departmentalization? Departmentalization is the process of grouping human resources and the activities of the same organization in a department systematically. There are many departmentalizations such as department by functions, divisions, market, geography, and metrics. So, the departmentalization which is used by the NASCAR company is the department by metrics. This is because it involves the installation process. Metrics department is formed when there is a special project or there is a technological and market change in Daska company. There are two types of department that exist simultaneously, namely department according the function and department according the product. Nasca employees from the marketing, finance, production and human resources departments are assigned to several tasks for a, for a specific period of time. Each employee is required to report to two heads, namely the project manager and the respective department manager in NASCAR company. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Leading, leading is necessary to influence people or others to work together to achieve the goals of organization. Besides, leadership is a process 
in which a leader will try to influence the behavior of his employees to perform a task to achieve work. Goals for units and organization. Leading includes the socials and informal types of control that you use to pursue others, to pursue others, uh, to take to take a stand. Their subordinate will be motivated uh, to make efforts to accomplish organizational goals if managers are successful leader. In order to make NASCAR's company good in leadership skill, we use the democratic star in which subordinates are involved in the decision-making process, but the final decision is made by the manager. Manager of NASCAR company will provide the best quality of decision making and can develop the talent of our employee skills and improve the knowledge in certain skills they have in NASCAR's work style. NASCAR employee will be motivated, high commitment and responsible when making decision collaborative when making decision in collaboratively created. Besides that, reward is one of the methods used in NASCAR's organization to appreciate employees' hard work and achievement along their journey in NASCAR's company. Our main objective of giving reward is to motivate employees and encourage them to put maximum efforts in doing work. Hence, NASCAR's company decides to reward employees based on their achievements, competency, and performance of their workloads. Rewards are given to employees and are divided into uh, two categories. And first category is financial rewards. Financial reward is increment of salary every year, bonus every six months. And second is non-financial reward. Non-financial reward is a recognition of certificates such as a best employee every month, full attendance rewards and holiday gift. Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about what is controlling. Controlling is a process for managers to monitor current performance and take corrective action to ensure that the end of the result of work is achieved as expected. Four steps that should be taken to control the performance are setting a standard, measuring actual performance, comparing performance and standards, and the last step is performing corrective action. The first process of controlling is setting a standard. Managers should set some standards in their company. One of the standards that NASCAR's company set is they want to export 30 units of Nerissa and 10 units of Rion to Kenya in August 2020. Second step is measuring actual performance. Managers should measure the actual performance at the end of the standard. NASCAR's company managed to export 30 units of Nerissa and 10 units of Rion to Kenya on 21st August 2020. At the end of August, NASCAR company managed to sell all the cars. The third process of controlling is comparing performance and standards. Managers should detect any positive or negative result in the actual performance and compare the result with their standards. NASCAR company succeeded to sell all the cars in Kenya and breaking the records. The last step of controlling is performing corrective action. Managers should detect any errors or negative results that are coming after analyzing the actual performance. No corrective action should be taken by the NASCAR company because the actual performance succeeded as set standards. Thank you. Human Resources Strategy in Controlling a NASCAR Company NASCAR will try to provide a reward system to the employee and try to make sure our employee is striving for new things every day. And the rewarding system or awarding system is that we will do it will be approved by Ahmad Irfan as the chairman of NASCAR, Director Director Muhammad Umar and Shafira, Chief Executive Officer is Nur Shamila and Deputy Chief of Executive Officer of NASCAR Company, Nur Aina and Girti. It is also supported by the finance manager Nuhaza, production manager Alia, the human resources manager Li Aiwei, and the manager and the marketing manager Hidayat Faisal. The outcome of a collaboration with other companies is to show to our employees that our company commitment to make sure our employees continue to thrive on working in our company. And also the important for companies to keep growing business 
is also an important part that we care about our employee is we keep giving acknowledgement to the employee that have skilled in the automotive industry especially for employees that really care about product quality human capital as a key driver for business growth we have to see a good result through our training in terms of effectiveness and quality for producing good automotive employees following our decision to make a better eco car and then than anyone else we nasco company is trying to produce eco car artificial intelligent cars and electric cars with our own design and our own employee skill. We will try to make sure we try to make the newest eco car and better than any other car brands. And also in the beginning of 2021, we will try to give improvement to our NASCAR S50 and Iris and Arisa. Hence, we keep improving our eco car to make sure we try to giving more affordable cars but can be seen as luxury car at the same time. Nascal provide more computer and accommodation to our IT and automotive employees to do their work together and provide good improvement and new generation of Nascal product. In conclusion, what we can conclude is how the management of Nascal companies can be developed through the concept of management. We can clearly see that management is important in producing a quality and developed company for the future and ensure the value of continuous work without any elements of injustice in the company. Other than that, we also realize that without suitable methods of planning, organizing, leading, and controlling, the organizations will not be able to achieve their goals. NASCAR hopes that they can achieve their objectives in future and make people realize about NASCAR existence in Malaysia and also in other countries. Discuss NASCAR because NASCAR provides affordable price and high quality and maintenance. NASCAR also hopes that they will achieve their targeted sales in 2021 and get more profit than year 2020. NASCAR believe that they can produce more cars that are eco-friendly because we want to save the nature. Last but not least, NASCAR believe that our objective will attract Malaysia and other countries to buy and export our cars. That's all from us and thank you.